We've got to confirm rooms for the Boyds and Mitchells and the Corbett's. I already have. They all have suites at the archway. Oh, and we've got to call the florist. The orchids will be in Friday, and the baker called and said the Haviland Angels for the top of the cake came in this morning. My luggage. Pack and tag. Oh, Lucille, I'm never going to manage without you. Honey, you're going to do just fine. Oh, my Lord, I'm going to be late picking up Lane from the airport. All these arrangements are just driving me crazy. I swear, if I'd been up to the and I would have eloped and broken your father's heart. Oh, you've gotten over it. No, I wouldn't have. Besides, now you should know, the wedding isn't for the bride and the groom. It's for the father of the bride. So you can show off. Well, who wouldn't want to show off the prettiest young lady in all of Savannah? <laughs> Is there anything you need, Mr. Burton? No, I'm just fine, Lucille. Thank you. Well, hey, it's going to be getting hectic here the next couple of days. Get hectic. Well, when Lane arrives and you and Peyton and Lane will be joined together at the hip till the nuptials, so I didn't know when I'd get another chance to get you alone, so... This is for you. It's your wedding gift, darling. It's so small. Well, best gifts come in small packages. Reese to pick up Lane at the airport? Oh, uh, yes. Well, you better get a move on it. Reese is ready to go. Oh, Mom, I'm moving as fast as I can. Oh, I didn't get home from the bar till 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh, I hate it when you drive home alone so late. I wish you didn't work there. I wish I didn't have to work there. I wish I had a million dollars and a two-story mansion and a brand-new cherry-red convertible like Reese. Yeah, I wish you had new tires for your old car. They're out and out bald. Yeah, well, Mama can't afford them. Well, I don't have any clean clothes. In order to have clean clothes, you have to wash them. Mom, why can't the maids do our wash? You're in charge of the staff? I am paid to supervise the staff, not take advantage of them. You have free room and board here. The least you can do is wash your own clothes. Okay, okay, okay. Well, where are my black shoes? Peyton, I am too busy to keep track of your things. I've got Reese's wedding to prepare for in case you hadn't noticed. Hadn't noticed? That's all you've been talking about the last six months. I'm surprised you remember my name. Peyton, aren't you ready yet? Uh, I don't have anything clean to wear. I'll loan you something of mine. You will? Of course. Now, come on. We don't want to miss Lane. Okay. Where's Lane? Are you sure this is her flight? Yes. And I refuse to get married unless you're both here. Where is she? did. Now, my boss wanted me to cancel my trip because of some last-minute emergency. I mean, I thought I was going to have to quit just to make it here. But I finally found somebody to take my hours, but by then, it was too late for me to pick up my dress from the seamstress. So I had to pay extra for her to meet me outside the tunnel on the way to the airport where, you know, I nearly got shot for tying up traffic. <laughs> oh, and then... Whoa! Has this woman lived in New York too long or what? <laughs> Relax, would you? We're in Savannah now. There's plenty of time for everything here. Starting with... I'm going to see what my daddy gave me as a wedding gift. Well, it's your beats getting a waffle iron. Oh, you know my father. Oh, it'll cost you a fortune to decorate a place like this. You know my father. No, he already... It should be done by the time we get back from our honeymoon. Oh, oh. Well, Ooh. this does call for toast. Girl, you say that about everything. She does. <laughs> uh -huh. for me. I'm driving. Oh, have a drink. We'll call your father's chauffeur to come pick us up. Just think, by this time next Sunday, you are going to be a married lady. Finally. <laughs> You've been talking about marrying Travis since you were 10 years old. I wonder if I'll look any different. What do you mean? You know, the morning after. Was that the only thing stopping you all these years? You were afraid people could tell by looking? No, of course that's not why I waited. I waited because... Because she's Reese. Little old-fashioned virtue never hurt anyone, Peyton. Mm. Except Travis. <laughs> you two can laugh all you want. I don't care. I believe everybody ought to do what's right for them. You know, when you went off to make your mark in New York City, did I laugh? No, I did not. No, she bought you a gorgeous set of matching luggage, as I recall. Yes, and it was worth it. Because now you are making that mark. 
right on top of the Big Apple, working mm. at the New York Times. Mm -hmm. I work at the circulation desk. Shoot, I may as well be working for J.C. Penney as far as my career in journalism is concerned. So you're not a reporter yet. I already told the editor of the Savannah Morning News it's just a matter of time before you get your own column. Reese, I'm nowhere near that. Yes, well, Reese has half of Savannah believing that you are the world's next. Carl Bernstein and Bob Woodward rolled into one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she is. All my dreams are coming true. Lane's wheel, too. Well, at least y'all know what you want. I'm not much of a dreamer, I guess. All I want is my two best friends around me. Oh. To our friendship. Past, present, and future.